Whether you're a rookie or a master, you know that anomalies are what makes the zone special. Hello stalkers, and welcome to the Anomalous Dugout. In this video, we will showcase everything we could find about space anomalies. So grab your detector, stalker. We're going to the zone. Space anomalies are spatial distortions that are the source of some of the weirdest phenomena in the zone. In the games, the name Space Anomaly is used as if it was only one specific anomaly, but in reality it seems to be a subcategory that contains similar yet slightly different anomalies. Let's see what they are. The Space Teleporter just acts like a teleport anomaly. When entering it, objects are transported to a set location. And exactly like the teleport anomaly, this only works one way. Some can be found in Lemansk, and all of them lead to the exact same place that is very close by. Another one is located in the Red Forest, and leads near Forester's place. Worth mentioning is the fact that the Soviet tank underneath apparently appeared during the same emission that created the space anomaly. This highlights the very unstable nature of this type of anomalies, as they are able to transport large objects within the zone somewhat randomly. The space trap is composed of a teleporter paired with a small pocket that traps people inside, and one can be found in the cordon. After jumping inside, a stalker is transported to the collapsed tunnel, and unable to get out. However, the anomaly will let you out after some time. It is possible that the trap loses some of its power over time, or maybe the anomaly only lets certain people free. In any case, a soldier died of thirst while being trapped here, with his friend unable to do anything to help him. The Space Bubble is the most feared and famous anomaly in the space family. Apparently, it is like a giant space trap in which people are teleported during an emission. This anomaly cannot be visited by the player in the games but other stalkers who have been trapped inside have described it as a bubble. Wherever you go, you always return to your starting point. Also, it is likely that several bubbles like this have existed, since we know of quite a lot of people who've visited them. What we don't know is whether these bubbles are, like with the previous anomaly, set on top of a location that already exists in our world, or if they are like another dimension, just a copy of a real location, lost somewhere in another realm. The Forester is one of the stalkers who came back from a space bubble alive. According to him, he found a compass artifact inside that showed him how to get out. This would mean that this legendary artifact is pawned inside the space bubble anomaly, and that if used properly, it is able to safely lead stalkers into the most complex anomalous fields. Using the power of this artifact, he was also able to guide a group of mercenaries out of another space bubble. The mercenary group led by Leshi was able to exit a space bubble following the instructions of Forrester who was helped by Scar. What's interesting is that they were able to communicate while being trapped using PDA transmissions. However, their signal could only be picked up from a high place, like the water tower in the hills near the army warehouses. And to send them a message, Scar had to use one of the powerful military transmitters. The General Tarchenko founder of duty, found himself trapped with his squad in a space bubble anomaly. They were not able to escape and all of them died inside. 
their bodies left there to rot, except that they can be retrieved in Call of Pripyat during a mission for the scientists. Apparently, they were able to detect a disturbance nearby, and upon inspection with a Zvarog, the most powerful hand detector in the zone, the hidden anomaly blew up, revealing the corpses. This means two things. One, space bubbles can be somewhat deactivated using special equipment. And two, bubble anomalies can remain active for a very long time, considering Tachenko probably disappeared a long time before the events of Call of Pripyat. The origins of the space anomalies are not well known, but what is certain is that the large emission at the beginning of Clear Sky is responsible for the appearance of many of them, and that most disappeared or are at least not visible afterwards. Yet, some space anomalies could be created under other circumstances. Indeed, Noah is known to possess two compasses artifacts, but it is unclear how he was able to find them. Also, as we already mentioned, Tachenko was most likely trapped in a space anomaly before the events of Clear Sky, which means such anomalies already existed prior to the large emission. And that's it for Space Anomalies. I hope you learned something new today. And be sure to tell us about your theories on Space Anomalies in the comments below. Thank you for watching, stalkers. And goodbye.